Breezers, how are you guys? Happy Monday. I hope everybody has a beautiful start to their week and an amazing week ahead. Okay, so we have a foodie beauty community post and I have some thoughts on this. So let's go ahead and read this together. It's from three hours ago. It reads, hi, can you give me some constructive feedback, please? I never thought she would ask for that in her life, but hold on. I was wondering what your suggestions are for maturing skin. Okay, this is rich coming from you, foodie beauty, who constantly goes after people's age and age shames people and says they look old and everything else. But you're asking for suggestions for your maturing skin. This is rich. My skin has become more problematic with the different environment here, and it's dry, blemishy, and needs some care. But also, I want something that will keep my skin supple and youthful. Foodie. Okay, hold on. Thing is, my skin is super sensitive to chemicals, it seems. So as close to natural as possible is the best. Thanks for the help. Foodie, are you drinking water? Are you watching what you eat? Are you hydrating? Are you moisturizing? Are you even washing your face? Because we've seen you with days old makeup on your face. <laughs> we have. And you can't eat like crap and expect to have amazing skin. I don't know if you get that. Also, if you really, really, really want some good suggestions, the video um, I did on you, your filtered pick, the Breezy Bunch recommended some amazing products. Um, I, I ordered <laughs> The Ordinary online last night um, at Ulta and I went and picked it up. So I'm going to be trying that skincare line out today. Actually, I'm super excited for it. So if you really want some good suggestions, go to that video, Foodie Beauty, and the Breezy Bunch has recommended some amazing, affordable products. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get to these comments. Hold on. Let's go to newest first. Okay, Frolicking Merrily said, take a shower for a change. <laughs> I'm going to like that. C. Mills said, don't know if you can get it where you are, as I'm from the UK, but I use Clinique, which is made by dermatologists. I have super sensitive skin, and they do a great range. Moisturize, su bleh, moisture surge really helps with dry skin. Check it out. Um, Ava said, there are a lot of useful tips from people about hydration, diet, moisturizing, exfoliating. If you are experiencing very dry skin, you may want to pick up some Aquaphor and use a thin layer on your face. Um, Sen said, simple answer, stop eating like crap and actually wash your face for once. I'm going to go ahead and like that comment. <laughs> Gustav said, LMAO at supple and youthful. Ha, we know what you look like without a filter. Um, Chef Leftover said, soap and water, girl, and eating a healthy diet plus exercise. Um, Julianne said, hi, Chantel. I think your skin just needs a cleanse and some good moisturizing. Not too heavy cream, but a light gel, like Clinique Moisture Surge. Rochelle said, most important thing is Factor 50 every day. Then I use CeraVe Face Wash and Moisturizer. I use with retinol. I love retinol. Um, okay, let's see. Two dogs, three cats said, throw out and never again buy those cleansing wipes. Invest money in decent products. People are offering good recommendations. I use products for maturing skin with rosacea, but I'm in Europe, so not sure of any point in listing them. And stick to using them. And like everyone is saying, it matters what you consume. Try to eat better and drink water. I'm going to like that. And for people like Foodie Beauty, I think they want to use a product once and see like instant results. And a lot of products, you do notice a difference right away. But don't you have to stick with the routine in order to get the benefits? Okay, let's see. Rachel Burke said, bored and lonely? Hey, why don't you wash that olive bowl, olive, bowl, olive bowl out and return it to your neighbor with an equally kind gesture of appreciation? I can't talk this morning. <laughs> Feeling old foodie beauty? LOL. Alina Abroad said, make better food choices. Slow down on the sodium and increase your water intake. Start there. That's good advice. Beach Girl said, hydrating is the most important part. Drink water constantly. Water makes a difference. Christopher Moon said, microderm abrasion, roll microderm abrasion rollers. Mia said, you'll never have nice skin with the amount of overprocessed junk you're feeding to your poor body. Um, Alexa said, try the Bare Minerals BB Primer. I love it. It will just even out your skin tone and help with the redness. 
it's not a foundation or anything. It's just a primer, but I love how it even skin tone and it's silky smooth. It's also blurring. I'm going to like that. I'm going to have to check out Fair Minerals BB Primer. Though I do really like my Benefit Poreless Primer. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I notice a huge difference when I use that. Um, Feathers Heather said, there's this moisturizer from Skin Iceland called Cloud Cream. I think you will really like it. Pia said, look it up on Google. Marty Flanders, Mar <laughs> Marty Flanders said, me thinks this is a response to people thinking you're Sala's mom. I'm going to like that comment. Oh my gosh. Comment of the year. Maybe that's why. Maybe she, <laughs> maybe that's why. Jordan said, CeraVe cleanse, cleaners and moisturizers. Um, Jen DT said, your skin has always been bad. We have seen unfiltered pictures on a few rare occasions. You have rosace, rosacea and blemishes all over. That's nothing new. You just hide it with all your filters. True. Um, Sweet Bee said, clean wash every night. Lala's baby Vaseline. That crap works wonders. Where steroid cream didn't work for my eczema, Lala's did. My grand and auntie always used the Nivea in the blue jar. They both looked years younger than they were. And a hydrating mask every other day. And lots of drinking water. Water plays a part. You got to drink water, foodie. Tyler said, the go is to exfoliate, cleanse, tone, moisturize. That's what I see all skin people say, lol. I would tell you to start wearing sun protection because of where you are. And having fair skin, that would be a good start at least. Um, Steffi B said, your comments have been so mean-spirited when it comes to older women. It's hard enough being out there navigating life as an older woman without younger women going along with the narrative that we are somehow desperate and unappealing. Now you ask for help with your maturing skin? Go pluck yourself, Chantel. I'm going to like that. Let's see if we could see the replies. Rachel Burke said, the hens are coming home to roost for Chantel and I'm living for it. Yeah, we had to go ahead and let's like the reply too. Okay, let's see. Rachel said, I use a lot of K-Beauty stuff. I have super sensitive skin and it's easily irritated. I use the watery sun gel sunscreen and all the clean balm for face wash. I've had to go to the dermatologist to get some face creams to help with the redness and sensitivity. Um, Evie Mag said, drink more water, less sugar-filled drinks like juices and sodas. Stop eating crap filled with oil and sugar. It doesn't matter if it's fresh. Your skin is a product of your diet. I'm going to like that. Okay, let's see. Empress said, my dermatologist's recommendations are hydrate, eat healthy, Cetaphil cleanser, Hydro Boost fragrance-free moisturizer, sunscreen, Dapsone, and Tretinoin. I can't say it right, but... I'm 51 with amazing skin. Let's look at the reply. A little sister. I still think that's Missy Moo or Aisha. So they asked what those things are that um, Empress recommended. Uh, Meredith said, I mean, we've seen you dump a random bottle of water on your hands on a live stream because you didn't want to walk a few feet to the bathroom to wash them. Do you wash your face? Might want to start there. Wash and some moisturizer could do wonders. Okay, I'm going to scroll up. Um, Mid-snap said, it starts from food intake. Low sodium, low fat. I went through this. More water, fresh green veggies. Without a gallbladder, the body cannot digest fats. It goes straight, straight into the intestines, causing havoc, i.e. such as diarrhea, skin outbreaks. Don't use soap on your face. Warm water suffices. Low chemical cream before bed and removing makeup. Minka said, hi Minka, um, your skin is a direct reflection of your health. Unless you work on improving your diet, cleansing makeup off your skin, taking your estrogen, and keeping better hydrated, you can throw all the lotions and potions at it, and it's still going to look bad. The rosacea won't leave until you do that. The blemishes, however, are because your pores are clogged with makeup and dust from the sand. Those can be lessened by washing the sand and makeup off daily and using lotion for sensitive skin. However, you are allergic to advice that is contrary to what you actually want to hear. So I probably wasted lines of text responding to this. That last part right there, though. Um, let's see. Ron said, I can't, I can't say that I blame her. The comments are always so negative. The offers of guidance are disingenuous with the intent to dehumanize. That doesn't motivate anyone. 
Believe it or not, there's healthier way to offer guidance. Let's see. Um, Rachel Burke said it's at Ron Paulian. It's called cause and effect, eh? You get what you give in life. I mean, I know people wouldn't talk like this to me if I asked basic questions because I respect people and nobody has any genuine ammunition to take that shot back at me. Um, wow, Ron said it, Rachel. You have no business guiding anyone with such little understanding of the human condition. Rachel said it, Ron. Neither do you. Um, Gustav said at Ron, she doesn't want anyone's advice. You obviously don't know her. She's playing pretend influencer with this post. Everybody is wasting their breath replying sincerely. She's just going to ignore it. I'm going to like that. And Ron replied at Rachel, what do you suggest we do with this little problem of yours? Throw her in a dumpster? Will that make it all better for you? Drop a glass on the floor and wait for the shards to miraculously become a whole glass again? A rational per person would see that feat as impossible. What's wrong with you for expecting a broken person to wake up repaired without years of effort and failure? Does a person who values themselves really eat with reckless abandon to the point that they struggle to walk? Why does this anger you rather than make you feel an intense amount of empathy? Do you also struggle with self-control? You're irresponsible if you think kicking a wounded person or puppy will help them to overcome themselves. Okay, but you're also irresponsible if you think enabling them and kissing their butt and telling them what they want to hear when their life is in shambles is helping them. Just being honest, you're out of touch if you think she hasn't suffered as a consequence of lifestyle choices. Emotional immaturity means that even adults require the same care as children during their formative years. What are you getting out of putting salt in her wounds? I don't know, but what do you get out of enabling them? Like, you can't just walk around not telling people when their behavior sucks because, like, <laughs> they're having a hard time. Like, if somebody's behavior sucks, it sucks. You're not helping them by lying to them and saying, oh, everything's going to be fine, little Chantel. Oh, you'll be okay. Poor Chantel. That's not helping her. Just my opinion. Okay. Um, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Deb said a wheelchair will do you just fine. She doesn't need that. We see how she acts with those. Oh, my gosh. I'm scared, to be honest, when she goes back to Canada. I'm scared she's... <laughs> I'm just scared for her. Okay, let's see. Uh, Mushroom Baby said African black soap products. I heard those are amazing. Okay. Uh, Rainy Rage said eating healthy does wonders and drinking water and washing your face. It does. Okay. Let's see. What the heck, Lindy? I'm going to scroll past that. All right, you guys, I hope you're having, oh, Internet Hate Machine said, try the Ordinary. Those are the products I just ordered, you guys, or Inky List products. Inexpensive yet works extremely well. I was shocked at how, how amazingly priced the Ordinary products are. Like, they're so affordable. Um, Bad Boy Tragic said, Cetaphil three times a day. Uh, Pink Caramel said, you need a gentle cleanser, toner, and moisturizer. A Plus said, we don't know what brands are available in Kuwait, but you need sunscreen for sure. Um, Sister said, things you won't do, like washing properly and diet. I know you want to magic fix it with no effort, but that's not how it works. Exactly. She wants an instant fix, and that's just not going to be how it works. I mean, it, it can't. You have to put effort into everything in life, you know? Um, Mike said, just live online and continue using filters. Let's see. Crazy duck. What kind of? No, thank you. I won't be trying that. Okay. I hope you guys are having a great day. What? Flop Bear said, Dawn dish soap. It works for the oily ducks. It'll work for you. What? <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. Great evening wherever you are. I will keep a lookout for any foodie updates. And I will see you guys so soon. Bye. Hey Breezers, okay, before we end this video, I wanted to show you where Foodie's mask slips. So here she is all smiles in the couple vlog and eat at TGA Fridays in Kuwait. Um, if you watch a couple seconds, she says goodbye to everybody and then she frowns like right away. The mask is slipping. Let's watch this together. Here's the Kuwait towers in our background. All right, guys. Yes, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for eating with us and we'll see you in the next video. Masalama, bye. Masalama. Did you see that? Did you see how her face dropped right away?
that's the true foodie beauty. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you are. Thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you so soon. Bye. So foodie beauty thinks I'm a hamster? Me? No way. <laughs>